Now let's jump into the cabin to take a look at the oxygen provided for crew and passengers. This picture here shows the oxygen system deployed throughout the cabin as I'm sure everyone is fully aware of. The cabin oxygen system is for use for passengers as well as cabin crew. Masks are located near the passenger seats over each row, in the lavatories, in the galleys, as well as at the cabin crew stations. They all use the same common system, if you will, but the chemical generators are individual. This oxygen system is to be used in case of depressurization of the cabin only. It is not to be used in case of smoke in the cabin. When we did smoke and fire, we also talked about the lack of oxygen mask in the cabin, as this will just provide a more dangerous situation, allowing oxygen to flow freely into the environment that potentially already is a big fire hazard. But in case of depressurization, the oxygen mask provides survival to the passengers and cabin crew. We use chemical generators, which are located at each seat row for passengers, at crew stations, galleys, and lavatories. And each one has a chemical generator provided, as you can see here, overhead in a storage compartment. The storage compartment, when they are stowed up, has an electrical latch connected to a barometric switch. If the pressure inside the cabin drops to that equivalent of 14,000 feet cabin altitude, the little switch will automatically open the door, allowing the oxygen mask to fall to their half hung position as you see here. But this does not start the flow of oxygen. The flow of oxygen does not start until the user pulls the cluster of oxygen mask towards them. An oxygen generator will provide oxygen for 15 or 22 minutes, depending on which version, older or newer it is. And once it has been activated, cannot be stopped. It provides through a chemical reaction inside the canister, heat and oxygen, which provides a continuous flow of oxygen to all the masks connected to that particular canister. Let's take a closer look here. Up connected to the canister, you will see that all the masks are connected via a small wire to a fire release pin. It's similar to the safety pin on a hand grenade. Once the users pulls the cluster towards them, you're then pulling that pin out allowing the chemical generator to start its chemical reaction inside, providing excess oxygen, which will then flow through the hoses to the cup continuously. It flows simultaneously to all, in this case, four masks, whether there is one user or four. Therefore, the life of said chemical generator is fixed. It will run until it runs out of chemical reaction inside, and then it will stop. It therefore cannot be stopped once activated, and it doesn't matter how many people use it. The little cup right there does not provide a very sealing user interface. It provides nothing more than oxygen flowing to the user, which allows survival in the case of depressurization. But it's not going to be without discomfort for passengers in said case. And the little inflation bag that comes, which is connected to the hose, does not have to inflate for oxygen to show that it's flowing. This is simply to allow the oxygen to be reused when we exhale into the cup, again, trying to preserve oxygen, but also to calm us when we are hyperventilating and our stress levels are very high in an emergency situation.
when the oxygen generator here is activated, it generates a lot of heat. And that heat is going to be both felt inside the cabin, creating a somewhat hot environment, but it's also going to lead to the sensation of burning, a burning smell. So it is common, it is the normal operation of the chemical generator. The chemical generators have a shelf life of about 10 years or so, then they have to be replaced if not used. And at the same time, they do add weight to the aircraft because we have in aircrafts a lot of these from front to back. So larger aircraft where we're talking 200, 300, 400 passengers, they have gone away from using chemical generators and are using instead a continuous built-in system using canisters, cylinders, like we do in the cockpit. This is simply for preserving weight overall. 